Osborne drop zone commander. She's um, a special character, I guess you, you, you'd call her. Uh, um, uh, I, I, I believe it's um, essentially a really heavy drop ship with a huge set of guns on it. So let's um, let's see what's let's see what's inside. Um, it's run retail for about 19 quid, I think it says there. Show discounts not included, etc. Always, always go to your local show, look for good deals on the internet, etc. Quite like these these packs in that you can just open them. I don't have to attack them with a knife. So in Drops and Commander, uh, a lot of your special characters come with with cards. There you go to put in your command decks. I'll have a quick look at those actually. Have a quick look at those first because I don't actually know what these do. They're not seeing as well as I might. I'm actually going to have to have a quick read. I'll show you guys first. There you go. That's what that one does. How good is that? Um, accustomed to victory. Excellent. So, was it during cleanup stage, etc.? Was it do this turn all friendly infantry units gain one to their CQB value and change their fortitude to two plus? Okay, so that just makes you better at close combat. That's really good. I think. Um, in the background, in the fluff, I think people call it, in the, uh, the background to the universe, which I, I really like, I, I enjoy, I think it's well written. Um, she's kind of, def of a defensive, diplomatic type character, even capable of negotiating with people from different races. Uh, so that, that's interesting in itself. Hammer of the Sphere, the sphere being the kind of baseball sized sphere that uh, leads and um, gives advice to the post human republic. Um, what does it do? Ooh, Aurelia Felix gains the following weapon. Wow, because it gives Aurelia Felix a weapon, which is quite a good one. I won't go into the you know, absolute details of it. You can uh, look at that for yourself. Um, it's got an area of effect, though. That's really cool. As I use the card in battle, let's look at this one. Conqueror. Mm. Units in these squads. Up to four friendly squads. Units in these squads. Already on the table, may immediately make a single move up to their maximum move value or 12 inches. Whatever is lower. The enemy may not reaction fire. My goodness, that's interesting. This has no effect on future action, so it might allow you to get uh, you know aircraft out of the way past anti-air fire, for example. That'd be quite useful in this last one. Oh, there we go. There's uh, Alpha Strike. Ooh, all friendly squads within... Aurelia Felix, Sphere of Influence, not yet activated. Activate as part of Aurelia Felix's battle group. This turn is of her own. Okay, so that's the, the last one there. I think it just lets you um, activate at a different time than you would normally. I think you can always become part of her battle group. So that's interesting. There you go. So you just shuffle those into the command deck, essentially. You only get one of each. They are quite powerful, though, so... Um, just uh, so just lucky if you um, if you manage to get that in the game. She's quite a high level commander, I would imagine. I, I don't know yet. I've not played with her, so you probably cycle through your cards quite quick if you're clever. So um, what have we got? We've got the base. There we go. Uh, ooh, lots of bits. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's just pour those out, shall we? There we go. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, I do like doing that, don't you, commanders? main body of these essentially this is like the the heavy drop ship that the uh the phr get anyway with with some extra bits to make it special something i always do at the beginning with these is i always just kind of stick that together so i don't lose the bits there should be a widget in here somewhere there you go so I sort of stick the widget on top like so then I, <laughs> I don't lose the widget in the bits there you go so we've got essentially heavy drop ship so you've got these here oh that's new that feels like new resin that does i would i would say that just feels different to the touch you the commanders out there might be more experts on these matters than i however but that that feels similar to the old one that feels different i don't know i don't know again i'm not i'm not an expert so so on spring there we go so it actually fits you see that's the main body these are the the arms on which the the rotors go you just glue those on there like so lovely great so there'll be six of those there we go lovely like so put that there um just take, might, might as well take those off they come off easily enough yeah 
nice and easy. A little bit of processing maybe, very small amount of filing needed, not much at all. So essentially it's one each that way. Three. The port side, is that what they call it? The left. Three to the right. As I said, this is on its own, this is a dropship. It's already a heavy dropship. Okay, so that's your standard dropship with these. And this part of the aesthetic, yeah, this is new resin because I've not seen that before. You didn't used to get on the old resin. It's not a problem, it's just a difference in because you just take it off and look, that's almost perfect. So it's not an issue. Um, just illustrates, I think, that we're dealing with different material here from what we did under Hawk. Now taken away TT Combat, as we probably know. So yes, yeah, so something I liked about the aesthetic of the PHR is, is these. I love these kind of, um, what would you call them, turbine, lift turbines? I don't know. Again, sorry for my lack of expertise in such matters. And they go on to the end of these arms here, like so. And you compose them. If you're clever... And many of you are, I'm sure you could magnetize this. You could just change the the angle of downward draft to make your dropship more maneuverable. So I'm sure that's how it works, isn't it? Hmm. Move move them during the game and your model becomes more effective. I'm sure that's how it works. So there we go. So those go on the end like so. So as it stands, that's a dropship. There. There you have it. Um, so what you get in addition for this special character is this. Ooh. And what this is, is a technical term for this. It's, it's a blooming great gun. And look, here's another blooming great gun. And I'm guessing that these go on the bottom here somehow. Hmm probably fit onto the little nubbins there, I would guess. Let's have a quick look under the magnifying glass. Yeah, there you go. You can see those holes there. Let's see. I don't know which way is forward. I'll work, I'll work that out in a bit. So I'm just guessing that that fits. Yeah, that fits quite neatly and nicely there. So that will... Oh, actually just fits under. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? Ooh. Mm, that's a little bit looser, but that's okay. It doesn't matter, does it? Again, if you wanted to, you could um, magnetize. You could uh, you know, bore down a little bit more into there, stick a magnet in. You could chop the top off there, magnetize that, and just clip the gun on. So then you've got a ready-made dropship, heavy dropship, if you want it, and then if you wanted to use the character, you just pop the guns on, don't you? So that that'd be pretty cool. So there we go. That's the that's the model. Um, really cool, really cool. Lots of lots of lots of little bits, but not too many bits as to make it um, difficult to put together. I would imagine. So here, completed, flying into battle. There we are, the completed heavy gunship. Look, very impressive. There's a top-down view around the mighty technological 360-degree look there. Very good. So this model normally has a very kind of flat profile uh, in its Poseidon configuration. With the extra guns, I think it gives it another dimension. Uh, makes the whole thing feel and look more substantial. 
Uh, the guns have gone on quite quite firmly. It's not uh, it's not going to fall off in the case. I don't think that's pretty pretty uh, pretty pretty strong. A little bit of trepidation there, perhaps in me flaking it, but but it seems to stay on fine. I say I love these these fans. It's kind of what drew me to the PHR in the first place. I love the uh, kind of lift fan Osprey type feeling of the whole thing. So there is Felix, the uh, the special character. I probably won't be using a lot in 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 game, but I will use it because uh, it will be fun to use a couple of times. I think it's four hundred and twenty points, which is a large battle that you'd be using this model in, wouldn't it? It's got some huge um, command radius and uh, some very interesting cards. I think it's got a command value of seven or something like that. So absolutely huge um, effect on a game, but very, very expensive. I don't know if I'd be fitting that into a 1,500 point battle very often, but use it, we definitely will.